I'm Matt, I play the drums. I'm BJ, I play bass. I'm Bo, I play guitar and sing. I'm Emily, I play keyboards and sing. I'm Adam, I play guitar. We're in Acropolis from Columbus, Ohio. Four of us are from the same hometown. We grew up together. We all met each other when we were like 14. Necropolis started at, you know, it was, I mean, as far as Adam and Bo and I, it was the, probably the fifth band we've been in together. And that was about, I don't know, 2002. 2002. 2002. 2002. It was in June. Started out as Bo and Emily mainly for tracking, like residence type stuff. Yeah, Bo would just write some songs and then we'd just record them in our little house in Waverly. And then Bo decided he wanted to ask other people, maybe like to play for real. And then we juggled lineups about a million times. Yeah. And we ended up with this lineup. So, the, what, the first bass player went on to become a Christian science fiction writer. True. Published. Sort of like famous for Yeah, it. apparently. Yeah. And then we met Matt because Matt was recording with some other friends of ours down in CDR and we needed a new drummer and BJ said, hey, I know this guy that's a really good drummer. So we called him up and now he's in the band. Hackledruff and Shoulder Mane. Yeah, that uh, is our album. Came out last year and on August. laser. Yeah, on laser disc. As on you can laser say. disc. The laser disc format. No, that's LP. Uh, and also available on CD on our own Columbus Discount Records. The Hackledruff and Shoulder Mane is a name I wrote down in a notebook when I was in. Uh, junior high. I wrote that down and uh, I came across the notebook about two years ago and I have absolutely no clue what it means. We've Googled the life out of it and we can't find No idea. Uh, like no one else has ever put that word combination together uh, so we thought it would work. Like and that's sort of that's sort of what the album is like, you know. No one's ever put that combination right, so. together. <laughs> but it's, you know, it's words yeah, still. It's yeah. The name Necropolis uh, comes from uh, actually a Clash record. We were listening to a lot of Clash at the time we started the band. What's the name of the song? Allen Ginsberg is talking, doing the voice, get a, spoken get word, defend, get, get a defendant. defendant. Allen Ginsberg spoken rock. word mentions high on Necropolis. We were just really into it. it Necropolis means city of the dead. And uh, we were living in the city uh, called Waverly, Ohio. And it was uh, really just a terrible place for anyone who plays music to live. There's about 5,000 people there. Yeah. It's a really small town. Uh, really mean people. <laughs> mean dead, yeah. dead. <laughs> We were the only, pretty much the only people playing music in Waverly, so, you know, you can name your band something like Necropolis, even though there are a million bands called Necropolis, because you figured it wouldn't go anywhere, because you're in Waverly, <laughs> Ohio. You know, like, our major influences are the early kind of Columbus rock and roll bands, so you're talking like Gaunt, Tom Shifts and Slave Apartments, New Bomb Turks. V3, TJSA. V3, TJSA. So the one we sort of rip off the most would be V3, but the ones we were influenced by the most would be like Gaunt and TJSA. We don't sound anything like those bands, you know. But it was oh. the whole reason that we wanted to move to Columbus and, you know, play music. Primarily we're a punk rock band. Uh, we're a noisy punk rock band. Yeah. Musically, we uh, we kind of keep changing. Um, just whatever uh, cliches it sounds, we just kind of do whatever we want to do at the time. We usually uh, get an idea for like kind of where we want to take the, the band and uh, go with it. <laughs> 